Hey guys. Good evening. I took a couple nights off, but I am back. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I have not talked on this transfer. And so I'm really excited. Hi, Stephanie. I'm really excited. I have some new um, barn wood chalkboards. And I'm going to use this fantastic transfer. And I am not, obviously it does not fit all the way on this awesome board. But I'm going to go ahead and... Um, just do Merry Christmas. I'm not going to do the wishing you. I'm not going to do anything down here. I'm just going to do the Merry Christmas. And we're going to see how it turns out today. I have a few new things that I will be showing as I do this. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I need to check on something quickly and then it will be good. Good, good, good. Okay. Awesome. Just making sure that I can get in here and see who's watching and that we're all in the right spot. And it looks like we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my website in here because I like to have that as a reference for everybody. That makes me happy. We got that going, okay. And hi Robin, hi Dawn. So I'm just going to get that going. Okay, so um, this is our wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year transfer. I am going to take it out of the package. Brand new. Um, love brand new transfers. They make me happy. Okay, so here it is in the in all of the glorious vinyl screen print transfer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place the words that I want in, um, hi Heather, in the, in the chalkboard area. Just going to like wipe this. This is, just want to make sure it's good and no, I might wipe it with a, there are little splinters, and I, I don't want them to be on. So I think I'm going to wipe it with a, a damp cloth, like a Clorox wipe. I need to wring it out, though. I should have done this ahead of time, but I really didn't feel what I was doing. Okay, so getting kind of the dust and all of that out of here. Okay, good, good, good. We can save that. And I'll dry it. I want to make this just a rustic sign. So what I'm basically going to do, um, and when you're, I'm, I'm basically just going to do white and I, I'm debating on glitter. So we'll see. But I want you to be mindful. These large transfers can be tricky. Uh, hi, Olivia. These these big ones can be really tricky, so I want to just kind of like show you the best way to peel the backing off the transfer would be the opposite of what you're going to think it is. Instead of peeling the transfer off, go ahead and peel the back off of the transfer. That way your transfer is stuck down and it's not um, in the air because I've ruined big transfers before and, and definitely you don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put down 
um, I don't want to get my transfer stuck to the barn wood. And so I'm going to cover up my barn wood a little bit with, um, I guess I could use just this cloth even because it's okay to do that. Okay, so what I'll do is I will scooch this over and I'm gonna cover this because I really do not want the wood from this sticking to my transfer. Then carefully, very carefully, I am going to lay down the Mary and the Christmas. So, oh, I have to keep moving it. Okay. All right. So we want, I'm going to have to put something over there too. I'll get something for right there. I have another cloth that will work. My super soft chamois cloth. Okay. Let's see. That is about, oh, we definitely need to move it down. So we might move it over too. Okay. I think I'm going to try this. The way it is. It's kind of hard and I'm like really intently looking at this because I could turn it, but it might look awkward. So it's kind of going off into a sideways um it's kind of going off side like uphill but that's the way it was created and so I think I'm gonna leave it all right and I'm just making sure I'll do this snowflake down here and then it maybe won't seem so off kilter you know I'll do this up here too so I'm just using my hand to push down all of this. My plan is not to do the wishing you or any of that. And so I'm going to show you a trick. This is, hi Tammy, live Chalk Nation trick on how to not chalk on certain things. And I, I just need to grab some of my washi tape. So you can use regular scotch tape because I have before, but I'm just gonna do washi tape and this is why, because it's easier to see. Um, plain and simple, my eyes are getting old and I don't want to chalk that. So I'm putting washi tape on it that way I, I can be free with my chalk and not worry about the overlap going onto my um, board. It's just a little, it's just neater. Um, uh, and I think it takes away the stress of having to be perfect with your placement of your squeegee. Okay, so there's that. There, that should be good. Not chalking any of that. And then down here, I'll put a little bit. So isn't this a great hack for um, when you don't wanna chalk the whole thing? Sure, you can be real careful and anybody can be careful, but not everybody can, um, not everybody can use the washi tape like I do. So I wanted to show you that. We did this, we had a I, I had a, an event at my school and I thought of this and it worked really well, especially for beginners. We were trying to 
um, only chalk certain things, certain colors. And so we were getting, con like they were getting confused. And um, when you're in the moment, you may mess it up. So, okay. The angle will be cute. I'm hoping, Heather. I'm really hoping. Okay. Hi, Tracy. Okay. Let's get our chalk going. So not only is my transfer new, but I found these, thank you, to my super awesome leader, Jessica. She had these, found these plastic stirrers. And so number one, I'm now being good to the environment because I am not using and throwing away. I'm using a plastic stirrer. It's not gonna break on me. It is super sturdy and I'll show you. It's like a spatula. There's this groove in here that gets right in to the groove of your bottle. So nice and stirred up. I can easily wipe it off, easily. I'm gonna probably use this and dump some into different areas. This can get pretty, I guess it could get pretty hairy. Actually, why don't I do this? I haven't done this in a while, so this will be new for you guys too. Hi Debbie, hi Jessica, hi Sandy. Let's use the big, the big monster. And um, I'm just gonna dump this out and we're just gonna go all crazy because we're only doing one color. And so I think it will be really good for you guys to see what that's like. And as much as I am dumping out, have faith, we're not gonna use it all. It will come back into my container. I just want to, um, there. Now if I need more, I will be surprised, but. So let's take this big guy, nice big squeegee, and we're just gonna go over it. Look how nice and easy this is. And quick. You know what? I'm gonna have um, my friends watch this who tried to do this transfer and it was giving them some problems. Just the dry, like drying quickly. Um, okay, so look how quick and easy that was and look at all of this that's going back into my container. So much. I didn't even need to do all that. So I'm just gonna squeegee it off Put it back into my container. Okay. And the tape worked really nicely. Everything looks good. This particular piece is going to go in my home, so I'm excited. Now I'm just going to peel back and kind of pull that off. And I'm going to peel it back and just lay it over my other piece. Look at that. What do you think? Does it look good? I think it looks phenomenal. I have a tiny little spot right there and I will use my Q-tip with some water to get it off. But I am really pleased at how this, work, this worked. Now, um, I'm gonna take this and remove it 100% and here's why. I feel like doing a little glitter on my Mary. And so if you're going to do the glitter, you need to um, get rid of that transfer. Take it as far away from the glitter as possible. So I removed it. Now I'm just pushing that glitter in. Okay, who loves glitter? I do, I do. I love glitter. And this is a great transfer. It is super cute. Thank you, oh my gosh, thank you guys. Hi, Tanya. Okay, so I just noticed one other spot that made me slightly crazy. So I'm gonna carefully 
get that. If I don't see anything else, I'm gonna let this dry and there are two things I can do. I can dump this off and that's fine and that's what we normally do. But when it's dry, you can take, imagine, a vacuum hose and just kind of like suck that off. Um, I didn't use a whole ton, so but it's easier than getting it stuck on your wood panel. So that's kind of cool. Um, that's all. If you guys have questions, I have this transfer available tonight and I have the boards available. Tomorrow night at my house, starting at seven, we are doing chalk night. So it is, um, if you've never done this before, send me a message, tell me you're coming. If you have done it before and you'd like to get in on that, send me a message and tell me you're coming. Like just show up, I have um, several open spots. So go ahead and um, check your calendar, tell who you need to, that you're coming, invite your friend and let me know. Otherwise, I am done for the night. This is so easy, literally like a five minute project. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get that glitter off and I'm gonna take a picture and I'll post it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great night. Hey, it's Friday Eve. Hey Jessica, look at what I did. It's got glitter on it and I haven't dumped the glitter yet. But um, it's Friday Eve and I was just getting ready to sign off. So everybody have a great night and I will catch you all later. We'll have more time. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's Annette. I didn't even see you pop on, Annette. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Share my video, and um, I'll post a picture of the totally finished product after I dump my glitter.